Since the last time I seen you guys, we have had about 80 sales. So let's see what sold. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm John Luke and this is John Luke Resales. I hope you're all doing fantastic today. If you are new to the channel, I'm a part-time reseller on eBay, looking to go full-time in the future, sharing my journey on YouTube and hopefully inspiring a few of you guys to do the same. In today's video, we're gonna be speaking about all the sales since our last upload. So yeah, we've had a load go out the door. We've had a lot of listing done. We've had a full-on listing week challenge with Sam Sells Stuff and a few other resellers. So that's been really cool, really motivating during that week. And you've probably noticed I've not really made much content over the last week or two. Um, reason being, just taking a little bit of time away from the platform with the one-to-one -one Wednesdays, City we're on last Wednesday and City you're on next Wednesday as well. So we've had two weeks off that. We'll keep it fresh for when we're back a uh, week on Wednesday. We've had some really good guests on recently, so we'll space it out a little bit and we'll come back even stronger. In terms of the videos, I've just been knuckling down with the business, looking after myself, put myself first, and um, yeah, just have a little bit of a break, just a bit of a headspace and just focus on the eBay side of things. With it being locked down, there's not too much wiggle room with the content I can do. The vlogs are really cool, the day and the live stuff, so I'm sure I'll be able to get a couple more of those out in the next couple of weeks. Uh, and then you've just got your sales and your pickups videos. There's not too much else you can expand on during the lockdown. So really just waiting for those boot sales to open up, the charity shops to open up, and then we can get full on rolling again. So in today's video, I've got to do it a little bit different. So I've picked all my orders already. I've got 21 orders going out today. It's now Saturday afternoon. So I'm going to talk you through each one of those, where we got them from, how much we paid, profit margins and stuff. And then we'll go back in time to just after we filmed the day in the live video. And then we'll do all the sales up until these ones. All of those orders have already gone out, so I won't be able to show you them today. So that's why I start with the cool stuff that you can see in person. But you will get all the screenshots and stuff to decide on me. Before we do get into it, I just want to say a massive congratulations to Sam Sells Stuff. I know it's a little bit of a tongue twister, but he has just gained, well, not gained, but he's just got to a 1,000 subscribers, which is a really good achievement. It took me forever to get there, and um, yeah, it's just one of those mountains to climb. Once you do get to a 1,000 subscribers, that hard work you've put in, you can kind of gain a little bit back with ad revenue and stuff. You don't get amazing money. It's nothing special. It's not a main source of income at all. Nowhere near but it does make it feel a little bit more worth it with all those hours of editing and filming and stuff when you could be doing your business and you you know creating content for people to learn and enjoy. It's nice to get a little bit of something back. So yeah, super congrats there, Sam. And we're looking forward to see what you come out with next. If you've not checked him out already, you will be linked down below anyway. Okay, sales time anyway. But first, hit that thumbs up button and we will go. All right, so as I said, all of these sales will be going out today. So first one is a Marvel Power Pack comic bundle they came in the big comic bundle we're in plenty of profit with that now and yeah we got 12 pounds all in for those following that we did sell a dvd box set it was shogun paid a pound in the charity shop yes a charity shop and uh, we got 11.99 all in for that never seen it not sure about you guys but let me know down below Next up was some RA. So first up was the Fifth Doctor TARDIS set and the same buyer bought two other sets as well. So this one paid eight pounds for that. And he also bought those two sets as well. So we paid eight pounds each for the sets. So eight, 16 and 24 with the TARDIS. And we sold them all three together for 59 pounds all in. So we did inquire, then we knocked a couple of pounds off each set. And then we sold them from 24 pounds into 59. So a pretty good profit margin all into one parcel. Good, good stuff. These were in the shop at $12.99, not really worth biting on, but they did get reduced to £8, so well worth it then. Next up was another Doctor Who set, £8 into 18 Different buyer. Following that, another piece of RA. It's a super bass karaoke machine, modern home, Bluetooth system. Uh, we paid £12.99 or £12 on the dot, and we sold it for £34.99. Good, good stuff. Um, there weren't any sold listings on eBay, there wasn't any listings on eBay, but there was similar systems on eBay getting good prices, so I thought I'll take a punt, see what we can do with them. And yeah, you pretty much tripled your money, obviously before your fees and your postage, so it's you know £12 to £35, almost three times your money. Definitely took a punt on these, but definitely worthwhile. Next sale was a copy of Mario Kart Wii with an unofficial wheel. We did have them up for £27.99, but we do have a 10% sale on the store at the moment and we got £25.19. This did come from a Wii bundle recently. I've not shown it on videos. We did pick up 35 games for £34, which is amazing. Some really good titles in there. And that's, you know, £25 straight back in the kitty. We have sold some other bits from this bundle as well. I'm not sure if I've actually shown you yet from the last video. I don't think I have, so they'll be in this video. 
Next sale was an old piece of stock. It's this Bruce Wayne Lego minifigure. We got £6.74. Same again in the 10% sale from £7.49 down. And then I just found this little Batman attachment. So I'm going to send that with them. I'm sure they'll appreciate that. Um, came in a wee bundle. Wee bundle. Came in a Lego bundle a long while ago now. And yeah, just a, a few pieces that are remaining. Happy to see them go. Following that was a, another one of the comics this time it is strange tales cloak and dagger and doctor strange just a mixed bundle we got 13.99 for those good to see these going out actually because the, the shelf is clearing up nicely same again with those just a small bundle of web of spider-man comics we got 10.79 next up another little piece of media and we sold the arcade on playstation 2 and we got 8.99 for that i think it is complete with its manual yes it is um, and yeah, we got this in a charity shop for 30 pence. You would have seen it maybe in a charity shop hunting a little while ago. But 30p into £9, you can't grovel. Can't wait to get back in that charity shop because all their games, all their media, 30p. Another piece of media, Lego Harry Potter years 5 to 7, complete with its manual. From that wee bundle that I mentioned before, 34 quid for 35 games or vice versa, one or the other. I think it was 35 quid for 34 games, but we got 12.50 for that one. Last Doctor Who set now, and that's another £8 into 18 right there. This is the Companions of the Fourth Doctor, so you've got Sarah Jane, etc. in there. So most of you guys have seen the gaming bundle video, and we did test out the original Xbox this week, and sold it. Worked a treat, really nice condition actually, worked really well, with a controller, official controller, and the Punisher game, the disc was still in the disc tray, tested out, quite a good game actually. And um, yeah, we got fifty-four ninety-nine full asking price on that. Just got a cable, AV cable, etc. And that good stuff there. In a load of profit with that gaming bundle now, but it's good to see some more of it heading out the door. We just had a sale actually, so that's another one on the end there. Now this next sale is spectacular. This is an Image Comics issue one of Spawn. I don't know too much behind the character Spawn or the series Spawn. I know Ian the Master of Pieces did. But um, yeah, doesn't really ring any bells for me. But it's a really sought after comic, issue one. It's the first appearance of a certain character in the world of you know wherever it is and yeah it's a really sought after comic so we did get 70 pounds on the dot for that we did sell it the day before for 75 and then they cancelled and then day after someone else got it for 70 so i don't mind that myself super stuff that came from the comic bundle again really nice condition people have graded them before and got really good prices in the hundreds uh, like 120 130 but i thought a nice quick sale at 70 pounds i don't have to send it off to get graded it was a nice one for the listing challenge boosted up my scores a little bit Really, really good sale. Happy with that. We're just going to make sure it gets there safe and sound. Next sale, Guitar Hero 3, Legends of Rock. You would have seen me pick this up in a Day in the Life video not too long ago, along with the Guitar Hero 5 as well. So what I did was I paid £50 for this and the Guitar Hero 5, all boxed up. I then ordered the games off eBay because uh, they weren't including the games. It was just the guitars and all the inserts and stuff. Combined about £10 for the both, got them delivered, etc. So total cost of £60 on the two guitars. So this sold last night for £89.99 on the GSP. While we was playing Among Us last night, a nice little sale trickled in. I was really, really happy with that. £89.99. It's going abroad. Definitely look out for this one. So it was a £60 total investment. We got £90 back already. Obviously, you got your fees, £9, bit of postage as well, 15 etc. But you're still already in profit there with Guitar Hero 5 being straight profit when it does sell. Next sale was Velociraptor Charlie. Dinosaur figure. We did have it listed at $21.99, but it is in the 10% sale. So we sold it for $19.79. We paid £10. So not great profit, but over a few quantity listings, you get some good money. And that is the thing with RA. Sometimes there's not amazing money in it. It's not like, oh, I've just paid £2 and I got £20 over and over again. You know, you might pay £10 to get £20 and then you're taking your fees and your postage. You might only get five and six pounds. For some people, that's not the way to do it. Uh, but, you know, for some people, RA really works just to get some things in the store, get things selling, and the money does build up. Next up, another comic bundle, £17.99 for that lot. Just a mixed random bundle again. And same again, mixed random bundle again. Uh, just wishy-washy bundle, and we got £20 for that one. I'm not sure where this came from. It might have come from the gaming collection. It might have not have done. But we got Fantastic Pets on the 360 Connect. I think it did come from the gaming collection. Uh, what did we get for this? We got eight ninety nine all in for that. Look out for that one. Car boot, £1. Happy days. So, another example for the RA now. Wall Clippers. We paid £12.99. We've got them listed at £29.99. 
got them in a 10% sale because they weren't moving too much and we got 26.99 total so there's not amazing profit in that but over a few quantities still good money is being made your stores being active and you're getting sales ebay reselling is not about 70 pound profit with every sale it would be easy if it was the penultimate sale for today is scooby-doo unmasked on the nintendo ds we got seven pound 19 on that in the 10 percent sale uh we got this a long long while ago now probably at a car boot at a charity shop i do not recall and the last sale that i just sold during the filming of this video is a wwe raw wrestling ring with a few figures on the inside uh the most pricey or the most rare being that dude ultimate warrior he's got a little broken finger there is some other cool figures in there with cloves, etc. Uh, we got $29.99 for that bundle. Just wanted rid of the rest of the wrestlers, um, just because we've been selling them for quite a while now. Just thought we'd do a nice little bundle to finish it off. But then I found some more, so they need to get listed next. All right, so that's everything that is going out today, but we've still got last week's sales as well. So stick around and hit the like button. But in terms of the total value of all those sales going out today, it's £602.09. All right, so before I do get into last week's sales, you know, following on from the last video, I just wanted to say, with these sales videos, it's never a brag. It's never anything to say, oh, look what I've sold. Look how much money I sold this for. It's just kind of to educate you guys and see what you could pick up in the charity shops, at the car boots, in the supermarkets and stuff. That's what it's all about, helping you guys, giving back to the community. And yeah, that's all it is, really. Because sometimes you do get some negativity on Facebook groups, etc. Uh, when they're like, oh, YouTube resellers ruining the business and, you know, don't follow youtube resellers they don't know what they're talking about or do go and do your own thing etc but literally all it is is helping the community creating some good content hopefully that you enjoy and uh, giving back that's all it is so if you think back to the weekend in the live video i had a good few auctions ending that evening that i didn't really touch on i don't think towards the end of the vlog um so we did sell a good few bits during that weekend as you've seen during the video so i'm literally going to lead off from those auctions at the end of the night and then go through for the week then. So the first few are comic bundles that we did have on auction. And a lot of today's were as well. They weren't on auction, but they was the relisted auctions. So just list them a little bit higher, but I'm buying it now. And they, they end up going. So the first one was a mixed bundle for £23. Good stuff. Following that was a mixed bundle of Spider-Man comics from the 80s and the 90s for £78. So there was some really sought after comics in there. Some ones that people needed to fill up the collection and stuff. So yeah, £78. Really, really happy with that one. That was the best bundle of the lot by far. And then we had a small mixed bundle of X-Men comics as well, and at £15. Following that, we did sell that Wii bundle that we did test during the weekend, and we included the Mario Kart Wii and the Wii Sports that Laura kindly sent out to us that we repaired in the JFJ. So really, really happy with that. We got £85 on that Wii bundle. So that sale was the morning after, so that would have been Monday morning. Next sale was a Jurassic World Primal Pal Blue, the dinosaur from Jurassic World. Bit of a failed RA one, this. We paid 30 we sold it for 40 uh, there was one that sold at 60 and 55 but suddenly they came back in stock so I needed to get a quick sale out. There was quite sought after at one point but I kind of bought one that was in stock and then suddenly they started popping up everywhere so I needed to cash in. £40 from £30, not great at all, you're talking 4 50 in fees, £3 postage, you know whatever. It's like 2 or £3 in total but we didn't lose anything. Sometimes with RA you just got to take a risk. Didn't really pay off but it didn't really cost us either. Just cost us time if anything. Next sale was another bundle of comics. It was Battle Tide issues one to four from the early 90s. And we got 16 99 for those four. Little piece of clothing now. We did sell a vintage navy blue Adidas half zip pullover for 24 99 Got it from the charity shop for a tenner. I was tempted to keep it, but it was a little bit on the big side for me. So yeah, 25 from a tenner. Not bad at all. But yeah, another nice one from the charity shops. I cannot wait to get back at it. It's getting a little bit windy out here in the shed, but uh, I think we'll be okay. Next two sales, exactly the same sale. Uh, it was a Funko Pop. It was Marvel's Captain America Civil War. It was Scarlet Witch Pop vinyl. We picked these up from B&M about six months ago for four ninety nine each. Uh, we sold one for eighteen forty nine, and we sold the other for nineteen ninety nine. Really good profit. It was one of those that dropped off my store. So there was on the shelves for ages. Kind of looked through my media, didn't I, and seen there was loads of stuff that I dropped off the store. In that case, it was these pops as well. So I had two, sold them within a couple of days of listing again. So super stuff, fiver into 20, fiver into 1849. Uh, you probably won't find these in BM anymore, uh, but worth checking through your pops in BM just to see what is there. I think mainly now, if there is a Civil War pop in BM, it's usually Agent 13, which wasn't too much 
back in the day, six months ago, but it might be a little bit more now, to be fair. All right, next up was a couple of Doctor Who figures again. Uh, we found these in B&M. They must have been stuck in the back somewhere because they've not had these in for ages. It was a couple of the TARDIS figures, so we put them both together. I think we paid eight. Might not have been eight at the time. Might have been a tenner for tenner each on them both. So we paid £20. And we got £52.20 on the both of those. It was the second and the fifth Doctor with the TARDISes. Another little sale from the gaming collection next, and it was Saints Row 1, 2, 3, and 4 on the Xbox 360. Pretty simple bundle to put up and it was 16 99 in total for those. You will find people pay a premium to get all the games in one, then rather go and buy Saints Row 1 for £3.33 postage, then go to another listing and get Saints Row 2 for £2.50 and free post. you know what I mean? Put them all together, nice cushy bundle, and um, sold really well. £17 for four cheap games, really happy with that. Same again with another gaming collection sale next, and it was Quake 4 on the Xbox 360. We sold it for £8.90, uh, but they did pay £6 postage. It was going to Russia. I'd, I'd try and say his name, but I can't speak Russian. Following that was a nice piece of RA. We didn't get too much profit on this one, to be fair. We did do in the summer last year. We just had a couple left over. It was a treffle thousand piece jigsaw of Santorini. Wish I was back there, to be honest. I was there a couple of years ago. Ah, oh, I wish, I wish. But um, yeah, we paid a fiver for the jigsaws. We got 10 79 so no profit really in that. But during the lockdown, the first one, we was getting about £20 a jigsaw on those. This next sale was a boxed Nintendo Wii Nunchuck from the Shiro collection. And we did get this from Tom's Mystery Box, if you remember, at the start of December, uh, in the, the big advent calendar. And uh, yeah, we got £14.99 for that. All right, so then we had a couple more comic bundles. We had a Uncanny X-Men comic issues 285 to 303. We got £17 for those. And then we got a bundle of Marvel Tales comics, issues 218 to 229. And we got £20 for those. This next sale was from the recent Wii bundle I mentioned before, just all the games that I got. Uh, we did sell Mario Galaxy 2 for £16.99, so really good stuff. That bundle is in good, good profit now. Following that was another little piece of RA. It was the last of the WWE Nano figures. We got £8.54 for those, and that was the 10% sale again. Uh, they cost us about 69p each at the time. We made a little bit more money on those during the first lockdown, but they are the last ones to go. Next one is another Wii game from that small bundle that we did pick up, and that was Crash Mind Over Mutant on the Wii, of course. Uh, we got 16 99 for that one as well. Back to the RA now, and we did sell a Chomping T-Rex from Jurassic World for 34 99 Was picking those up at 19 99 at the time. So, decent little profit on the one. You guessed it, more RA now, more toys, you know, you know it's me and my store. Uh, we did sell Transformers War for Cybertron uh, small figure bundle, just two figures, Blowpipe and Fire Drive, and we got £17.99 for those two. We paid £2 each on the figures, so £4 into 18 before your fees and before your postage. Back to the Wii bundle again, we did sell Wii Sports for £14.99, that came from the 34 game bundle again, which is really cool. Uh, now onto some more auctions as well. I think they ended on the Tuesday or the Wednesday. Uh, first off was a super rare. That's what I've put it in the title. It's a Bret Hart figure. We got £24 on bids. They've not paid in the eight days since. So I've just had to cancel it today. There's no contact with them at all. What can you do? I'm just going to list that one and buy it now. Put it up a little higher and just see what happens. The guy was in America. I've contacted him plenty of times over the week. Just not got in touch. Another auction, it was a mixed bundle of 12 original Xbox games, and we got £19 and 6p on bids on them. And then this is quite a funny one. Uh, we did have quite a few mixed bundles of Xbox 360 games, uh, probably about six or seven auctions. One went to a certain buyer for £13 and 3p. Good stuff for 10 games. Bear in mind, we're already in profit with this gaming collection, so this is just the, the bulk of that. And then we had four auctions bought by the same buyer. One was for £22, one was for £14.50, one was for £15.27, and then there was a racing bundle for £16 as well. Um, he's not paid in eight days, but he has been in contact saying that eBay won't let him pay. So don't cancel the orders, he's going to pay eventually. You know, he's got 9,000 plus feedback, he must be selling them as well as buying them. So I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but I've let them, you know, try and resolve that with eBay and we'll see what happens with that. But there's a good little total there. I think it's about 60, 70, 80 pounds total. So hopefully that comes in uh, in the near future. That would be nice. Ah, there was another little PS3 game bundle on that as well. 1350 as well. Same buyer again. So there's five auctions that they've not paid for yet. I do trust them though. Hopefully they'll be able to resolve that with eBay and get that sorted soon. I'll stay in touch. 
And there was one more auction uh, for a mixed bundle of PS2 games, and we got £28, 55p for those. Those all came from that 30p charity shop as well. Uh, so really good money on those as well. Next up is another Wii game from that bundle, and we got £15 for Poke Park Pikachu's Adventure. Good stuff. Uh, I've never really played that one, so uh, let me know down below if that one's any good. I think there's two Poke Parks on the Wii, to be honest. Back to the RA now, we did sell a Halo Infinite Action figure. It was Brute Captain, it's like the big red guy. We paid a tenner and we got £22 all in for that. Same again, more RA. We got Toy Story, Disney Pixar, RC. We sold him for £24.99. We paid £12.99 for him. Back to a comic now, we did sell Spider-Man The Death of Gene DeWolf. First print from 1990 and we got 16 99 for that. I'm not sure if that was from the comic bundle or I did have that one before. I'm not 100% sure, but £17, good, good stuff. Back to that Wii game bundle. Who'd have guessed it? Uh, we did sell How to Train Your Dragon for 10 99 Pretty cool one. I never would have thought that's actually worth too much, really. We got 10 99 good stuff. As you can see, that £35 investment, we're way over 100 already. And we still got some good titles in there. I think we got Godzilla left. Uh, in that Wii bundle, I've got that up at 30 to 35, which is a really good title on the Wii. And then a few little Sonics, Disney ones and stuff like that. So really happy with that one. Back to the RA, we did sell a Dr. Eggman figure for 19.39. We paid 7.99. This next product, I've actually sold this before. It was actually brand new and sealed. We got 24.99 for it last time. We paid a pound each for these at the car boot. It's a Joytech Dancing Mate dance mat uh, for the PS2 and the PS1. We picked it up at the car boot up near Zaheer. Um, I think it was the first ever Booty Picks episode, I do believe. Paid a pound each, sold one for 25. This one sold for 17 99 It wasn't brand new, so I think it had been out of the box and put back in, but still a really good price for the dance mat. With it being third party and stuff, you wouldn't think it's worth too much, but really happy with that. The next couple of sales are comic bundles again. So the first being a Avengers bundle from the early 90s for £15. And the second bundle being a small selection of spectacular Spider-Man comics from 1989 for £12.59. Straight back off the comics, we did sell another one of those Treffle Santorini jigsaw puzzles for £10.79. So that was the last one of those. The other one that I had left, I did take it to my Nana's partner. He likes doing his jigsaws and stuff, so thought that'd be a nice gift to give. A nice change now with this one is some footwear. We did sell some karting boots, Alpine Stars, Tech 1K Elite Karting Boots. Really nice, £39.99 we got for them. I don't remember buying them, like, it was that long ago. I'm not sure it was a charity, I think it was a charity shop, and I think we paid £6, I want to say, from YMCA, uh, but £40, really, really happy with those. They're really nice as well, good, good condition. We then sold some Futera Manchester United cards. These are the other ones that aren't Beckham, basically the 3D embossed cards. We got 13 50 for those. We did buy a box of cards to get some Beckhams, to sell the Beckhams and grade the Beckhams. And then these are like what's left over. The rest of the team that aren't worth anything. But 13 50 good stuff. We paid 20 for the box, so no brainer. Hey, look, more comics. Uh, we did sell a mixed bundle of 80s and 90s Spider-Man comics to £36. Uh, to the same buyer who bought the earliest Spider-Man ones for 78 so he was impressed by the sale, hopefully. And then after that was a mixed bundle of X-Men comics from the 80s and 90s for £20. And we have not received payment yet, but they said they are going to pay. So we'll see how that plays out. We've had a load of unpaid cases at the minute. No one's, uh, no one's parting with their money. After that, we sold another Velociraptor Charlie, which is going out today as well. We got £19.50 for that one. Ten are paid, like I said. All right, coming towards the end now, we did have another sale from the gaming collection. We did sell Halo 4 uh, Limited Edition on the Xbox 360, and we got £10.50p for that one. The next sale was another game. It was Dan's Party Pop Hits on the Nintendo Wii, and we got £8.99 for that. That came from a console bundle a little while ago. We then sold the last of our T-Rexes for £31.49 in the 10% sale. Picked it up for 20, so not too much profit, but a little profit. Still some more RA next, and it was the Rocky Gibraltar figure from Toy Story 4. We paid 12 99 and we got 26 99 Still more RA, and it was the wall clippers again. 12 99 paid, £25 sale. With some of these sales, really, RA, comics, games, toys, there's not too much difference, is there? Maybe the odd trainer, the odd t-shirt, but apart from that... 
there's quite a correlation to my store. I would like to, obviously when car boots and charity shops do open, you find things that you wouldn't normally pick up, usually on Facebook and stuff, and that's the beauty of the car boot sales. You'll go and you'll find something that you've never seen before, never picked up before, and you'll find things that you always pick up. But that's the beauty, you're always learning when you're out and about, but now you're kind of restricted to what you know, you're only searching on Facebook for what you know and what you want to do. And we do kind of miss that side of the boot sales. Well, obviously the boot sales great for getting all this stuff, but there's little things like that that you don't get with Facebook. You don't search for stuff that you wouldn't you wouldn't know. Back to the comics now, anyway, usual. Uh, we did sell a bundle of the awesome slapstick issues 1, 2, 3, and 4. And we got 14 99 Actually, it was in the 10% sale. We got 13 49 And then another one was the Rise of the Midnight Suns. Six issues of those from 1992. And we got £15 on the dot for those. Back to the RA, back to the toys now, and we did sell a Gujitsu figure. It was the Braxor Ultra Rare figure, and we got $29.99 for that. Picked up for a tenner. You will be able to find them in your Tesco's, your B&M's, your Asda's. It's just really hard to get all of these Ultra Rare ones, but if you do find them, pick them up. It's still a good little bit of profit in those. Following that was a nice, cheap, and cheerful Wii game. It was a Guitar Hero Aerosmith on the Wii for $4.99. During this listing week, I was getting right into that backlog, so I picked out some cameras list them in a bundle as untested i don't really have the know-how to get you know get the films and do it all i don't really have the time to do that i just wanted to get those listings up during the week get them sales in and um we, we sold five retro cameras for 50 pounds well 49.99 there was one good one in there which i don't think was in too great a shape obviously i listed it as like spares repairs te untested you know some will work kind of thing um so yeah 49.99 really really happy with that Coming towards the end now, guys, I know it's quite a long one, this, and if you're with me now, I appreciate you a bunch, you're all awesome. Uh, obviously, the sales videos can get a bit boring and stuff, but some, some of you guys do enjoy them, and uh, we've just not done it for a while, so we've got, we got to catch up, we can't miss a trick, can we? We've got to go through every single sale. If you are enjoying it, hit the like button, we're nearly at the end now, nearly at the end. So this next sale was a Wii game from the Wii bundle, like I mentioned before, the, the, the Wii game bundle. It was $17.99 for Go Vacation on the Wii. And um, they paid £6 postage. That one's going abroad. So $23.99 all in for that one. The next sale is a pretty simple one. It is Zumba for the Nintendo Wii. With the training belt, we got $13.99. But there was a 10% discount on. So we did get $12.59. Pretty nice sale next. It was a VHS DVD combi. Uh, Panasonic NV VP33. We got £50 all in for that. Didn't have a remote, but we got it tested. We got it working. And we got it sold during the listing week. Good, good stuff. £50 on that one. We did pay £7.95 at a charity shop. We've got to be near the end now. We have got to be. Uh, next sale was a Phoenix Knights DVD Series 2. Uh, we got £6.29 in the 10% sale for that one. And then, I think this is the last one. Is it the last one? I can't believe it. I mentioned it's got to be the end. Phoenix Knights was the last sale of the lot. Last sale of the lot until today's lot kind of thing that are going out. So, wow, what a long one. What a long one. I think there's about 80 sales in there. Really, really good stuff in terms of the store. Really active. Lots of sales. Good news in that regard. We're happy, happy, happy. So that's really good. Really happy with that. Seeing as February is normally a quiet month, it's still not busy. But, um, you know, going into March, it's, you know, promising signs that the store is going to be healthy. Get those pickups on. Get more stuff online. And, and I should be um, should be going strong straight into the summer, really, which is cool. Can't wait for the summer. Can't wait to see some sun. I don't know about you guys, but I absolutely love the summer way more than the winter way more than the winter let me know down below what you prefer but definitely summer for me anyway guys i'll leave you there i've held you hostage for far too long i've got to get these parcels packed it's in the evening liverpool have just been beaten by everton it's all going off not really going off in the shared light it's silent but um yeah it's been amazing it's been amazing hit the like button if you did enjoy the video there is some videos over there to my left uh, from a couple of weeks ago you might enjoy those and um yeah there'll be plenty more coming soon day in the lives all of that good stuff I appreciate you all massively and I'll see you very, very soon. Peace out, guys.